The 2012 presidential election was historic for the gay community with the election of the nation's first openly gay senator, Tammy Baldwin. For the next few minutes, we'll discuss her historic win along with the others who are breaking down barriers in politics. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum, and I'm joined by Chuck Wolf, president and CEO of the Gay and Lesbian Victory Fund and Institute. Chuck, welcome to the program. Great to be with you. And I think it's fair to say congratulations are in order for you, correct? It was a, it was a record-breaking year. Here's why congratulations are in order. Your mission, your very well in being in terms of what you get paid to do, is to try to get more gay and lesbian individuals, not only to run for office, but to win. Right. So we're all about winning these elections. We don't spend time on policy issues because we believe we change the nature of the debate just by having out people in office. So and let's see, talk, I'm sorry, please, so sorry. seeing somebody elected to the United States Senate exactly. was just a perfect uh, capstone, I think, on the work we've been doing so far for and, 20 And years. what I found interesting about Senator-elect Baldwin's win is that she didn't really talk about her personal life. She talked about the issues. She talked about the economy. She talked about education. She talked about Medicare. And my understanding is when she was asked about her personal life, she said, that's my personal life, and that's not really relevant to your life in the context of what I want to do as your United States Senator, so let's talk about the issues. Right. Well, she actually didn't talk about it like like it wasn't something to talk about. She owns it. She's very proud of the fact that she's a lesbian. Uh, she's always been out in her political career. It wasn't something she came out later uh, in her career. She we came out in the beginning. And we should remind our viewers at home that before being elected to the United States Senate, she was also an openly out member of Congress as well. Well, she served as a Dane County Commissioner in Madison, then in the Wisconsin House, and then the U.S. House. And she was the first out person elected to the House. And she was elected in 1998. Other candidates have come out after they were already elected, but she was the first already out person to be elected. So to the besides House. Senator-elect Baldwin, anyone else that we should be speaking about in terms of who won uh, in this historic elections and now is either gay or lesbian or bisexual? Well, there are six other people now entering the U.S. House. Jared Polis and David Cicilline will return. Tammy, of course, moves on to the Senate. Mark Pocan enters from Madison into the House. Sean Patrick Maloney from New York. Uh, and Kirsten Cinema and Mark Takano round out the group. Uh, Kirsten will be the nation's first bisexual member of Congress from Arizona. Chuck, I have to ask you, did you think that the numbers would be so strong uh, in terms of the GLBT community being represented in the United States House and Senate? Did you, well, six months it, ago, six months ago, could you could have predicted this? Isn't it wonderful now to have hindsight and say, absolutely, <laughs> we were going to win them all. Don't lie, no. <laughs> don't lie. <laughs> but I, I do think it's, uh, it was remarkable. I mean, the entire electorate was uh, in tune with supporting the LGBT community, whether it was ballot measures, whether it was candidates. I mean, the number of states where we now have our first out member of the state legislature, states like West Virginia, Pennsylvania. West Virginia. Yes. Uh, Florida, New Mexico. These are great wins for the future because in every one of those states, in order for our rights to move forward, we first have to start electing people to the legislature. Was there a seismic shift? Was there a moment in time, and perhaps maybe it was President Obama's uh, candidacy or his re-election to, uh, to the presidency, that said to many Americans, this is the time. This is the moment where, quite frankly, I'm not really uh, I don't care about this issue. What I care about is the person's positions on the issues and not necessarily their personal life. Well, you know, the Victory Fund has been working on this for so many years. Uh, and it was noticeable that when the leader of the free world comes out and has a conversation on television for that specific purpose to talk about gay and lesbian Americans, it was noticeable that that shifted opinions. And it was great. I mean, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender Americans now know they have a leader in the White House who supports them. Chuck Wolf, thank you very, very well said. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. And of course, thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Take care.